Lucas Copy TV studio here in Geneva. We are back with the regular technical analysis with the Management Joint Trust and Jean-Francois of Sarzac and their product FinGraphs.com. Welcome to the studio, Jean-Francois. Hi, Daniel. So the last days have been impacted by the Bank of China, which has devalued the Chinese Yuan. And uh, actually, what are the impacts on the dollar and the euro? Well, what actually happened, yeah, within the scope of a decelerating growth in China, as well as uh, the recent stock market crash, uh, China has uh, decided to uh, devalue uh, the yuan. Uh, it, we don't believe it's a long-term uh, commitment. It's also against the policy of shi shifting towards a consumer-based economy from a production-based economy, but it's probably a temporary patch uh, given uh, uh, the recent problems with uh, the stock markets and the economy. Now, uh, the impact it's having on the dollar is that basically there is fear that a cheaper won is going to put some pressure on U.S. manufacturing. Uh, we could also extend that argument uh, to uh, Europe and especially Germany, which is a large exporter to China. Uh, so we're back on our FinGraphs.com uh, mosaic here on the daily, so the projection over uh, the next few months. Uh, we'll be looking at the euro dollar, uh, cable, euro Swiss, gold, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, Brent and uh, the S&P futures. Now let's start with the euro. The euro we believe is still in a downtrend. This is an investor's view. So the perspective uh, over the next few uh, quarters with a weekly chart, over the next few months with a day chart and over the next few weeks with an hourly chart. And if you look at our weekly chart, it is still heading down with a, a bear trend, uh, which uh, possibly has a bit more to go, possibly almost towards pop a parity over the next few quarters. Uh, a nice intermediate bottom uh, at the end of the first quarter, and we in a reaction up from that intermediate bottom. The envelopes are still heading uh, quite aggressively down, so we don't believe this is a major reversal point for now. Uh, on a daily basis, we're also still uh, negative. Uh, we are within a very shadow uh, consolidation. It's uh, lingering on uh, 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 over the summer. Uh, the reaction up is probably not quite finished yet, but uh, the direction is still down. Uh, if and when it breaks, a uh, possible target over the next few months down to uh, 105. Uh, short term, we're in a, um, a correction up. If we look at the hourly chart over the next few weeks, as we pointed out the last time we were here about three, three weeks ago, uh, medium term, long term are still in the downtrend. Uh, following uh, the resolvement of, of, of uh, the Greek uh, crisis, uh, a lot of people are trying to get in back into the carry trade uh, and uh, so uh, uh, possibly too much and we might see uh, quite a few sharp uh, counter trend rallies to the upside and that's possibly what we're seeing at the moment. Uh, we've had a first leg up here. The oscillator or the risk index is not in overbought yet. There still is some uh, potential. So for the time being, this move doesn't seem over. It does have the potential to bring us up between 112.65 and 114, which would be quite aggressive. Uh, on uh, to the downside, let's have a look at the trader's view, a combination of a 60 minute, 15 minutes and four minute chart to try to see where the support is in this, uh, in this uh, correction up. So if we look at the 60 minute chart, uh, it is in a consolidation down and has been since the middle of last week. And uh, as long as you hold above 110.36 here, uh, the uh, short-term uh, uh, uptrend that we saw in the early would be still valid. Uh, if we do make it below 110.36 uh, uh, or possibly in that region, uh, you have the risk of resuming the downtrend uh, in line with uh, the daily and the weekly chart. Mm -hmm. And you still see the parity like ahead in the next one or two quarters? Well, at the moment, we still have a weekly which is negative, which does have the target potential uh, to reach. Well, here it says one or two, but if it accelerates, it may, it may adjust. And, uh, and uh, the envelopes are still heading quite aggressively down. So we still consider this as a, an intermediate bottom, a correction up, which is probably not quite over yet. But at some point, we, f we believe the euro dollar should resume the downtrend. Thank you. And if we look to the gold, there has been a correction up or movement up. Is this a real counter trend now? And what are the limits and resistances to watch? Well, a very similar situation there. 
Uh, you're in a long-term downtrend, maybe a more aggressive downtrend that we've seen on, 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 uh, on uh, the euro. If you look at the weekly chart or the perspective over the next uh, few quarters, it is still has potential possibly down to almost 1,000 over the next few quarters. Our risk index is not in oversold yet and our envelopes are not touching each other yet. So we believe this downtrend is not over yet and could have some, uh, some uh, more potential over the next few quarters. On uh, the daily, uh, also still in a downtrend, a nice little uh, reaction on an intermediate bottom, meaning a risk index in the oversold, as well as stress on our envelopes. But uh, over the next few months, we could well see uh, uh, 1050 uh, as our aggressive targets here, impulsive down. Now, we are in a, in, in, in a move up. Uh, it has recently turned impulsive. Uh, we would um, uh, p p potentially has uh, the potential to, to move up to 1150 to 1170 over the next few weeks. At the moment, the risk index is, uh, is not uh, in overbought yet, so it does have more uh, potential. Uh, yet, we believe that uh, if we turn back to the daily, we will, you'll probably see a lot of resistance around uh, 1150. You've seen it act as support back in November 2014. You've seen it act as support again in mid-March 2015, as well as uh, briefly in early July. So that 1150 is going to be a strong uh, resistance to the upside. So uh, over the short term, we could well make it up to 1150, but we think we're going to see quite a lot of work around these uh, levels. Now, uh, if we look at a trader's view, so the perspective, the intraweek perspective, and take a 60-minute chart, the 60-minute chart is correcting down and is, and is soon to be leaving that correction down to uh, create that momentum possibly towards 11.50. But the levels we need to watch out for are the bottom end of these uh, corrective targets, which, uh, uh, which are around 11.06. And uh, if gold was to make it below 11.06, that would uh, create an impulsive move down on the 60-minute chart and probably uh, uh, put uh, the hourly correction up into Geopardy. So thank you. And finally, have a we have a look to the equity markets. It seemed to be difficult for the equities to break out for new highs recently. Now, uh, if we look at the S&P, also on this investor's view, uh, we've been advocating for uh, the uptrend for, uh, since September 2002, uh, uh, when I first started speaking on Dukas Copy TV. Um, our long term is still an uptrend. We've been uh, talking about climbing a wall of worries this year. It's been a very difficult way up. Uh, we still believe that uh, we could make it up to our impulsive two targets, so quite ex overextended aggressive targets, uh, towards a 2200, possibly 2400 over the next few quarters. Uh, at the moment, uh, this projection is still valid. Now, uh, our correction down has been in place for now several months. It's lingering on. We recently saw a new episode of, uh, of uh, overbought condition on our oscillator here uh, in mid-July. Uh, yet, uh, the prices haven't really declined that much. Uh, we're still in a gray projection down, so only a correction. And as long as this is the case, we would favor our longer-term uptrend. Now, if we were to make it below our corrective targets, meaning below here precisely 1983.76, uh, uh, we would create an impulsive move down. And that impulsive move, move down would be in contradiction with uh, the weekly chart. So as long as we stay above this uh, 1983, uh, uh, we pretty much believe that we're still in the long-term uptrend. Now, short term, uh, there might be a bit more weakness. Uh, we're in a downtrend, an impulsive downtrend, with the, po the possibility of making it down to between uh, 2033 to the lower 2000 levels. Thank you very much, Jean-Francois, for being here today and sharing your point of view today. Thank you. And thanks for watching. Do make sure to keep clicking back on the Dukas Copy TV website or leave a comment through Twitter or the social networks. Have a great day and see you next time.